Hi guys. In this short video, I just want to talk about um, something I've been studying uh, tonight. It's called uh, syllogism. I have posted about this on the Science of Deduction Network. There's actually about like 18 different ones. Uh, but to anybody unfamiliar with this, a syllogism is nothing more than a logical model that you plug information into. And you're basically trying to test if your arguments are, are valid. Your, your arguments are actually going to be valid if you use the model, the syllogism model that you, you, you work with. But the actual conclusions that you reach might be inaccurate, right? So there's a difference between the logic being sound and the actual conclusions that you reach being sound. It sounds almost like a paradox, but it's true, right? So I, I love going over these because the work that I do actually uh, requires me to use logic quite a bit. I know that it's not just useful for work that I do, but it's useful in day-to-day -day situations for, for everything. We use logic all the time, and then we have information that we plug into our logic all the time. Um, it's really good professionally for people that are do computer programming. If you're involved with diagnostic work, it's really useful too. Um, you know, if you go to mechanic, for example, and the mechanic was looking at your, your car, and he can say, okay, well, I see that the engine's not turning on. Um, and then he can go through the list of things that can present that problem and then reach a conclusion based on, you know, following the links in the chain. And so once again, using these models is really useful for figuring out if your logic is sound and then just to figure out if the actual problem is your logic that you're working with, or is it actually the information that you're plugging into the logic? And so let's model this one out. This one's called the Celerant. And it's modeled as no M R P, all S or M, so no S R P. Now what that actually looks like in the end is no apples or oranges, all Granny Smiths are apples, so no Granny Smith are oranges, right? Now that almost seems redundant, right? We, we, we know that even without going through the model that that's the case. A Granny Smith apple is not the same thing as an orange, right? But once again, whenever we're doing this, we're trying to figure out if the data that we're presenting to our model is accurate and it makes sense, right? The logic is actually the valid, the argument's going to be valid all the time, as long as we use the syllogism. Um, but the actual value that we get in the very end, the conclusion that we reach might be inaccurate, even though our logic is sound. And so... Let's plug in one more thing here to make sure that, that we understand this concept a little bit more. Um, and we're gonna talk about phones for a second. Uh, no Apple are Samsung, right? All Google are Apple. So, no Google are Samsung. Now, our conclusion is accurate, right? A, a Google phone is not the same thing as the Samsung. They're different companies, right? But Apple's a different company than Google. But our actual argument that we present is valid, even though the the value that we get out of the statement is valid too. But uh, in the middle, we see where it kind of went wrong, where we said um, all Google are Apple. That's not true at all. The truthfulness of that statement is it's false, right? But our, our actual argument in the end still gave us an accurate conclusion. Um, so if you guys want to learn more about this, I will talk about it a little bit more on the science of deduction.org. But even if you don't, I hope that in some way or another you can take that information and kind of plug it into your day-to-day -day life and your own thinking. All right, guys, take care.